Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. Tension over this issue has been building for more than a week now, and today the critics of both the governor and the mayor are targeting vaccine mandates in lawsuits and in legislation. But today the mayor made it more than clear she is standing firm. This is a condition of employment. People have to abide by the rules. We can't have the people that we are asking to enforce the law to act like they are above the law, period. A forceful people Mayor Lori Lightfoot up. defended the city's vaccine mandate on the same day that a number of city workers filed a federal lawsuit challenging the measure. This is about making sure that we create the safest workplace possible. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of more than 130 City of Chicago employees, mostly in the fire department, but also in the water department and the transportation department. They allege the city's and the state's COVID measures are unconstitutional. The suit says the employees' fundamental rights were violated because they were denied due process of law. The suit takes aim at the city vaccine mandate, saying the mandate was never approved by city council and alleges the September 3rd executive order signed by Governor J.B. Pritzker requiring health care workers, state employees and contractors to be fully vaccinated far exceeds the power of the governor. Neither the governor nor the city's law department responded. Also today, this is a modest proposal. As the battle over the vaccine mandate continues between the mayor and the union representing thousands of rank and file police officers. Urging the mayor to reconsider her mandate. City Council members Silvana Tabaras and Anthony Napolitano proposed an ordinance that would make any mandate or effort to place employees on no pay status subject to City Council approval and would repeal the mandate making it null and void and retroactive so any employee who missed pay would be made whole. The purpose of this ordinance is to ensure that mandates are properly vetted by the City Council and that we put a check an executive order when it comes to health mandates. But the mayor called to bar us shameful and questioned why she would align herself with controversial fraternal order of police president John Catanzara. But it's really st stunning to me that a woman of color would carry the water for a guy like that who every single day spews hatred against people who look like her. And as of this evening, about 70% of both the police department and the fire department have indeed submitted their vaccination status to the city. The mayor says all other departments, aside from those two, are at about 100% compliance. Reporting live tonight outside of City Hall down in downtown Chicago, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Keep track of that. And new tonight, the as the vaccine.